Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Twisted Sage Studios webinars. Today we are working on the practitioner rings. Um, phenomenal set of rings. The practitioner rings started um, quite a few years ago. We were making the the trios and like the 144 megahertz, the 177, the 188 megahertz. Um, you know, but we've always been making the larger rings. We used to make them, again, out of the older frequencies, and we used to make them out of a lighter gauge, anywhere from a 10 gauge, which uh, Slim Sperling usually made them in the 10 gauge, and that's what uh, Slim's Widow's kind of taken off, and they still make them in that thinner 10 gauge ring. Um, then we started making them in eight and six, and these ones are the heavier four gauge. So all the practitioner rings that we sell these days are these heavier, heavier duty four gauge rings. Um, so I guess just to kind of give you an overview of the rings, um, I use them all the time in everything that I do. They, they go with me in the car because whenever I do work with somebody, I use the rings, whether it is with them or with me. Um, when I first started to do I guess you call it remote viewing when I would be able to see at a distance and when I did any of the work like clearing work for people I was always in a ring not only is um, when you are standing in a ring that you just lay on the floor you stand within that column of light not only is it bringing you into more alignment grounding connecting but it's also putting you within that column of light to where you know, it, it helps you feel untouchable, which you really are when you are in the heart space, you are grounded, connected as a column of light, you are untouchable. And then that allows you to go into these situations out of fear, not having any fear with you. Um, so the rings will help with that whole aspect of being, you know, and we don't like to use the words protective, but it's kind of like being in that protective column of light as in as anything comes within that column it is transformed um, so i use the rings all the time to stand in them um, i stand in them when i need to connect when i need to clear when i just need to take a breath i'll go stand within the rings um, so that's one of the active ways that that we use them is just being within their columns um, another one of the ways that i personally use these rings is I always keep one right above my my head of my bed. So basically when you use these larger rings, think of it as they create a column of light. So as these create a column of light, we wanna have that column of light, like let's say on the headboard. So if this is your headboard or the wall behind your bed, you want to position this so that you are sleeping right here within this column. Because if you have this position to where you are laying right here, then the entire column of energy, you are within it at night. Using these at night is really a phenomenal way to use them because then we're not in the way it's working with our physical, it's working with the, the spiritual, it, it's helping us not be in the mix and allowing for the work to take place. Um, so using the large rings at night is a fantastic way to go. Like my daughter, Jo, she's nine now, and she has always slept within the columns of these, of these rings. Um, when she was a baby, if she was not within the column of the rings, she would have the night terrors. Um, you know, and to me, it's just because kids are so sensitive that they see all that stuff that comes in, ghosts, all that stuff. So when you're sleeping within this column, it you, you don't find any of that. Also, when you sleep within this column, if you live in the cities, it is going to just keep you in that, that high vibration space. It's not gonna let in all the crap that's floating around in the air, electromagnetics, dense consciousness, everything. Um, it's going to transmute all that and hold that space for you to be able to sleep uninterrupted by those energies at night. Now, some people, when they sleep with these for the first couple of nights, they note that they don't sleep as well. Um, and it's just an acclimation stage. 
once you've slept with these for a couple of nights and that doesn't happen to everybody a lot of people they get a good night's sleep the first night and forever after um but you know there's a lot of people who swear by using these to sleep at night that they help with a better night's sleep and i'm one of them um we always sleep with our big rings now those are just a couple of the ways that we've used these larger rings um the practitioner sets Again, we made these sets um, quite a few years ago for Lorraine Gailey. We did a show with her and we had four different rings, including the Galactic that we were using in those practitioner sets. And so they've evolved over time. So the last practitioner set that we had was a set of two rings and we still offer that. And that is the Golden Fire and the Harmony. Now, those two are fantastic rings. They, they do great work together. But now we also, since the regeneration ring came out, we offer the regeneration ring as part of the trio. Now that trio is something else. Um, this is the trio that we use for like the gateway pendant. Um, it's the harmonic creation field trio. So a lot of times, especially when these guys first came out, um, Brenda and I would always utilize these guys energetically to hold space for people. We would have this column of three rings, this harmonic creation field, and we would just visualize somebody standing within these three rings or bring these three rings, this column of light over top of the person. Phenomenal things happen when you do. Um, we have some other videos out there, the harmonic creation field trio um, with the water rings. Now that particular set of rings, um, it's going to, well, with this set of rings, we talk about how they're going to help with peeling away. They're, they're bringing in, not only are they bringing in our light more into that physical heart, more than what we have seen before in, in incarnation, but as they're bringing in that light, they're also harmonizing and integrating all those little points of light that you are. So, you know, kind of like how people talk about how a past life can affect you just thinking about bringing in all those trillion points of light that you are into the heart, integrating that in. And as that does, it also allows for any of the release work to take simply and easily. So if you're standing within these rings, um, the release work happens quickly and easily when you are within these columns. Um, so part of that thing with the harmonic creation field trio, as you stand within that column and it's helping that release, at some point in time after you're peeling all those layers as we are that onion and we keep peeling those layers we get to the point to where when you're within these three rings it does a sun activation with the heart every one of your cells turns into a sun your heart turns into a sun and then there's this little space that opens up uh, it's like a tear within the universe and that is where we house miscreations through lifetimes as that space opens up, we're shining like a sun, we clear it, the place is sealed, and it's done. And that's something that you don't have to be aware of. It just happens when you're within these columns. Now, we do have, if you go to the Harmonic Creation Field Trio on the website, it'll actually walk you through that process of the sun activation. Um, it's also on reclamationearth.com. We do the Harmonic Creation Field Attunement and the sun activation. So on reclamationearth.com, you can also find um, those two activations where we do a video and walk you through it, or you can read about it online. Um, so using these three as practitioner's rings. Now that's the huge thing. Um, when you're using these rings as a practitioner, and what I mean by practitioner is anybody who works on anybody, whether it's by distance, whether it's Reiki, whether it's massage in person, doesn't matter and it doesn't matter the modality even if you have one of those fancy crystal light healing beds <laughs> the rings are phenomenal for things like that just about anything these guys will hold the space so passively to use the practitioner rings if you are a practitioner of any variety if you have a person that is there in the physical in person and you have a massage table lay in these under the massage table you can even create the vesica pisces with these guys you can create three vesica pisces all down the row 
and basically land them underneath of the massage table because then they are within that column. What that does is it helps to bring them more in alignment and balance in the heart center. It helps with a lot of the clearing. Um, clearing just takes place, heart centered, um, and just brings them more calm and relaxed. So then the work that you do takes easier. So if you're doing massage and you're working on the person or any kind of body work, basically if they're releasing anything, it is cleared within that column. Now, if you are doing massage and you find that you're always taking on other people's crap or other body work, you stand within the ring. You can stand within one of the large rings and it keeps you clean and clear. So, I mean, there's a couple of passive ways that you can do that when you're doing work with others. So even if it's in a chair, now I know actually quite a few hairstylists who use larger rings under their client's chairs because it keeps their clients clean and clear. So they come in, their clients have a phenomenal session, they get their hair done, um, and they come out feeling great, clean, clear, centered, balanced, aligned. I mean, that is a way that you can work with your clients without them even knowing. Um, and it just gives them such an elated feeling in that, that phenomenal feeling when they leave that they'll come back. I mean, it's, it's just a, a great way to utilize the rings is with clients. Now, actively, we can use the rings too. So these are kind of some of the passive ways. Now, to use the, the rings in an active sense, and we'll, we'll later here talk about all the different frequencies and, and the best ones to use for just single rings or as trios, but as far as for using the trio or even the, the two rings, the pair, what I usually do is I'll lay down the two smaller rings on the floor. Now you can do this however you feel, but the golden fire ring, the largest ring out of the set, the 29 inch golden fire ring is the one that I like to use to bring down over the person. So basically I would take these two rings, set them on the floor, and I would have the client stand right within those rings. Then what I would do is use this larger ring to go right down over their head. And as you go down over the head, you go down really slow like this. Um, it's really a fun thing to do to use this to scan for any blockages. Now, when I go to shows and I put, I, I'll take a couple that comes up that are interested in the tools. I'll have one of them stand within the rings. I'll give this ring to the other person even if they don't feel energy or this is their first time at a holistic fair or something of that nature, that person running the ring nine times out of 10 will feel something. They'll feel like where there's this stick, especially right in that high heart area. The high heart is where we carry a lot of stuff. And so as the person is running the ring, they're also scanning. And so what we're scanning for is just a stickiness, a denseness. And as we run into that stickiness, usually again, in that high heart, you just run the ring up and down slowly like this. And you just run that ring up and down slowly through that area that you felt that dragging, that sticking until you feel the shift or until you feel that it's not sticking anymore. Um, for me, when I'm running these rings, I always feel the shifts. I feel the blockages. It's just a phenomenal scanning tool. Um, I can find just about anything within the person that's going on by using this phenomenal tool. And then plus not only with the scanning, as you find the things, again, the majority of the time, it will just clear up the issue just by running the ring up and down. Even if it's something like, let's say the hips are misaligned as you get down lower and you can feel that and you're just running that energy, you know, you're just running the ring up and down that is going to clear everything and work on everything energetically to where, yes, I've seen people's hips shift. I've seen people have physical shifts a lot within these rings without you having to do anything. Um, simple, easy tools. So once you get down past that bottom chakra, 
usually I don't feel anything else. Um, you can still scan all the way down and you would just go all the way down, set the ring on the floor and they're complete. And then they can step out of the rings. Um, and that's just the way that I utilize these rings. Now you can get as creative as you wish with the larger rings and try different rings over a person you can run all three you can run them back up no right or wrong way to use these rings um, you just use them how you intuit to use them um, so anyway there's one of the the active ways also to do it um, and then you guys if you have any questions along the way here be sure to uh, drop your questions in um, so we got a few people live here and then this is going to be broadcast. So um, I'll try to cover as much as I can here. Now, another way to passively use the rings is um, underneath of a bed, um, whether that is your sleeping bed or your massage table, is that I'll set up grids, crystal grids and grids with other energy tools. So like under my bed, I'll always have a ring that I have a crystal grid set up in, which I don't right now, I need to do that, um, is to get back into the crystal gridding. Because if you create a crystal grid and you put one of those and you create it within one of those large rings, that is amplifying, that's holding the space. And because that ring creates that column of light, basically as that ring is under the bed and I'm sleeping up here, all that energy and information comes up through with that column of light and just comes up straight through you. So, I mean, it's a great way to, to send and transmit information, um, you know, especially from crystal grids and other energy tools that you use that you create grids with, um, you know, cause creating grids, crystal grids with intent is a really powerful thing. And when you add one of the larger rings to it, you can do some phenomenal work with that. Um, and then even then you can also put things like essential oils, supplements. So if you feel like you need certain supplements or oils, put those under the bed too with the large ring and allow that to transmit. Um, some of the other uses for the large rings, uh, people in radionics or frequency boosting devices, they will actually use the larger ring around the radionics equipment because it acts as an etheric ground but with me too, I am so sensitive to the AM radio wave that they use for radionics that I can't be in the same room as one of those machines. So as long as that larger ring is over that radionics device, I can be in the same room with it. It feels good because it is clearing any of the frequencies that are non-beneficial and amplifying the ones that are beneficial. Um, so the large rings, phenomenal for many different purposes um, they're just a powerful set of rings and again if you're using it on your own you know and you don't have somebody else to run the ring you can actually just run the ring yourself and find those spots it's huge this thing shifts a lot as you hear my voice yeah I, got dropped right back into the heart space by bringing this ring over. Um, you know, and then a lot of people too, because these are sturdy rings, they'll use it on if they have back problems, lower back problems, hip problems, you can just run the ring, you can do a little massage and pull on the back, the hips. So all of our rings, um, these guys are strong, sturdy rings, but if you ever do break them, all of our tools, we have a lifetime guarantee on the welds. Um, when you receive your larger rings, they have stamps on them. This one here has GF for golden fire. Then we have the balance and harmony. We have the regeneration. So all the larger rings that you receive will be stamped. Uh, so you'll be able to tell them apart. Now, the practitioner set also includes the um, so. The 29 inch golden fire ring is the one that comes in all the practitioner sets and the trios. That's the ring. If you were going to get one, 
I would reckon not recommend the 29 inch golden fire. Then in the duo, we have the 27 inch harmony as well as in the trio. Then in the trio set of rings, we have the 26 inch regeneration ring. Now that's what we currently have here in October, 2019. Those are the rings that we have. Now we can also, you can buy those in the singles, the double, the trio. When you buy it in the trio, you actually save quite a bit of money in that trio set. Um, now with the, the regeneration or the harmony and the golden fire also come in another smaller size of practitioner rings, the 22 inch golden fire and the 20 inch harmony. Now those two are also in the heavy duty eight gauge. They can be used the same. They're the same potency. So if you'd like to try out a trio, you could do the 20, 22, and then the 26 regeneration ring. Um, again, the, the most potent one to me is the golden fire. I love the regeneration ring too, but then those three together, the trio is that is so the way to go if you can make that happen because um, these set of three rings together is super phenomenal so anyway we don't have any questions as of now um, and I'm trying to think if there is anything else that we haven't covered with the rings that would be beneficial to share um, you know because those are all the basic ways for for using the large rings I mean, if, if you have, you know, more unlimited resources that you could have a lot of rings, I'd put one around the hot water heater. I would put one at the head of the bed, one under the bed with a crystal grid. I would put a 20 or a 22 inch on top of the refrigerator with a grid within there with all your supplements, your oils, crystals that you like. And that in itself is going to create that column of energy that goes down through the refrigerator and it will bring through the energetics of all those supplements, oils and everything else into the food because your refrigerator is a pretty big um, electromagnetic frequency emitter. So you can use it on the refrigerator. Like I said, barber chairs, they work phenomenally there. Um, your own easy chair. So yeah, hot water heater. You can use these rings in a lot of places. Um, but like I say, I always carry a set with me. They sit right behind my driver's seat. And then that way, if I'm ever, you know, doing work with anybody or if I myself need, you know, need to stop and connect and ground, I have that trio right there. Um, so anyway, since we don't have any questions, uh, I think we're going to call this uh, done for the day. So um, again, if you guys have any questions that you'd like to, um, you know, send after the fact, you're welcome to email me at twistedsage at hotmail.com. And otherwise, yeah, look forward to uh, the next webinar. See you then.